Hi guys, starting the day with a little bit of a worn out Amelia. I just half jogged for a little bit and then remembered I can't do exercise very well. I'm on my way to London today for a very, very, very exciting meeting. And it is something that you guys are gonna find out. Well, I mean, it's exciting for me. It probably might not be exciting for you because I've gone to West Byfleet. I parked and then I walked for about 20 minutes, but I realized I have like 10 minutes to do the walk and I'm a slow walker. So I'm out of breath, basically. Um, and I was kind of hoping I'd have time to go buy some coffee, go buy some sanitizer. I'm kind of obsessed with sanitizer at the moment. I probably should stop vlogging and when I get out of this muddy patch, start running again. <laughs> it's 17 past, my train leaves in exactly, my train leaves in exactly 10 minutes, which is fine, I could definitely get there in 10 minutes. I made it, she made it to the station a little bit early and I was like, why did I run? But then there was a queue for the tickets and I was like, this is why I run. The irony is, I would either get a train that makes me really early or a train that makes me late. Like there was no in between. Or well, there was an in-between, but it'd be a really big push because I know what Southwest trains are like and I know about delays. But because I'm early, I've gone to booze, I've brought some water, brought my sanitizer. I have a real big thing about sanitizer. I've said that, haven't I? And now I'm gonna go to Foils because what is better than going to a bookshop? I wanna read this, I've decided. I would also like to read this. This is fun, but I'm going to leave now because I currently do not have the money to be buying loads of books and I still have a huge pile at home that I need to read. I also have a book in my bag that I'm starting, so farewell for now books. Let's go to the meeting. Um, I've also just dropped my fizzy water, so I'm kind of worried about this situation. Yeah, it's come to my rather unimpressed in attention that I'm still 20 minutes early. I didn't realise how much nearer this place is. Like Google was telling me it was like 23 minutes away from Waterloo. Nah mate, nah, it was like an eight minute tube journey. Three freaking stops, I swear. Uh, it's a weird place. I was hoping there'd be a Boots. Even though I've gone to Boots, I now wanna buy some Suvers. Uh, I thought maybe I could shop around for a bit. But I literally have no clue where this place is. Oh, I see a Tesco's Express. But yeah, as I said, I'm early. Did you guys see me like freaking out? Oh, I should cross. One sec. And did you guys see me like freaking and stressing out earlier that I was gonna be late? You know, running, I ran. When do I run? I'm still early. So I'm meant to be meeting my um, managers 10 minutes earlier than the actual meeting is. So to give you a little perspective the meetings at 11 I'm meeting them at 10 2 at the place and it's 22 and the place is like whoa I've put highlighter on my nose so I the sign just dropped on me so the place is like one minute away and I'm still 10 minutes earlier than the 10 minutes earlier that I have to be my mind is really like focusing on the fact I went to Boots and to open the door you had a handle that you actually had to open, not automatic. And I didn't like it because it looked dirty. And so I was overthinking that. Darn it, by vlogging I thought it'd slow it out and it seems that by vlogging I've just kind of just got even closer. I think, I think this is the place. Darn it. <laughs> Thing is, it's always better to be early than late, but it's just annoying because I was rushing. And it was like, why don't you just chew a little beans? But then I bet you, whenever I chew on my little beans, the train's delayed, or the tubes aren't working, or I lose my train ticket, or I can't find a place to park. You know? You get me? But I brought my suvers, so. I'm at a London school for girls? Where am I? God, bear with. Okay, so the meeting went lovely, uh, really good. I also got some PO box from my manager, so I will be opening that. One thing I will say, I am walking to Waterloo Station. The 
reason for that is because I believe that I have lost my card. My ticket. I've lost my ticket. I've lost my ticket. How typical is that? Amelia has lost her ticket. Okay, so I am back home. I was eating lunch on the train. I had a nice prep. I had a ginger shot because I'm still feeling quite ill and I really, really don't want to be ill. Um, it's my birthday on Monday and this weekend I think Pete has something planned for my birthday. Well, I know he has something planned, I just don't know what, he won't tell me. Anyway, I'm walking to the station. I have my bag full of peer box and I think I'm going to open it in the car. Let's do a car peer box. That'll be fun, won't it? Okay, I'm here and I'm feeling better because this bag was heavy, so let's unbox some stuff. Uh, bear in mind, not all of it is for me. Some of it is for Grace as well, so I'm unboxing on Grace's behalf. A gift to you from the Royal British Legion. We hope you like your poppy pin and that you're able to wear it through the Remembrance appearance. Aww. We got a poppy pin? Aww. That's really sweet. Aww. Cute. I like that. This is from Czech Republic. Whoa, look at that. Hi, I'm Anna and I like to draw stuff. I know that Grace has a thing for drawings. I'm sending one of my drawings for each of you. Hope you like them. Thank you so much, Anna. Grace would love this. This reminds me of something that my auntie does. I want to keep one too though, to be honest, if that's okay. Ugh. I just beat my horn. <gasps> oh, it's a key ring. Look how nice that is. And that one. Dream on dream, the world is yours. Fashion fade, style is eternal. Oh, you are awesome. You are beautiful. Oh, this is for Grace. Okay, I won't read Grace this one. Dear Amelia, a long lost sister. Oh, it's from Emily. See, I know Emily. She's a very dedicated viewer and um, we've chatted a bit on Twitter and she gave us a journal last time. You and Pete are so cute. Glad you and Grace found great guys who love you. Pete, thanks for treating Amelia the queen she is. Ah, that is so cute. I'm gonna send him that. Aw, thank you so much, Emily. That is so lovely. This is from Denmark. This is insane. You guys are from all over. Design paper, pens like that. Dear Grace and Amelia, my name is Nana. I wanna say Nana, 20 years old and I'm from Denmark. I've been watching your videos. I found some cool pens and some design papers from a Danish company. I hope you like it. I can't wait to read your books when you're published at Author Sunday. Aww. One day. I'm really, really hoping one day. One day I'll be published. What? Oh, they friendship bracelets. Stop it. I recently found my Tudor style braiding wheel that my dad made me for years ago and I've been making bracelets for me and my friends and family so I decided to make one for you. That is so lovely. I I feel very lucky. Aw, Christmas card. Fa la 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 la. To Amelia and family, loves and blesses Benjamin at Mandev Update. Ah! And then there's one to Grace and Ryan. Aw, Benjamin, that is so sweet. Thank you so much, you guys. Like, honestly, you see from my vlogs, I get so spoiled by everyone. I get spoiled by PR companies, now you guys. And honestly, I don't think I deserve it, but I really, really appreciate it. I, I just want to say a big thank you. And if you guys want me to do more of these, um, my PO box will be down in the description below. And yeah. Ah, oh, I'm down on your level. <laughs> She's like, don't film me, queen. No. <laughs> My dad I've made a steak sandwich and I'm happy. Mm. Look at that. 